Hello friends, my name is Joe Zeppelin and today we're gonna to be making two digital business cards that you need to start using immediately. Let's face it, remote work is furthering the need for digital contact sharing. And this video here will give you two methods to deliver information that's accessible and easy to share. Welcome back to the channel. As mentioned before, my name is Joe Zeppelin and I'm a small business coach based here in Florida. My goal with this channel is to be a resource to self-starters and give people the tools to live happier, healthier, and more productive lives. If any of that interests you, I'd love to invite you to subscribe and join the Startup Squad. It really goes a long way to supporting the channel and make sure that you never miss out. Now let's make two beautiful digital business cards. In today's video, we're gonna create two must-have business cards. The first will be a digital card using Noe, and the second will be my personal favorite, a one-stop shop for all your social media using Linktree. First, we'll create a digital business card. A digital business card is very similar to a traditional business card, but with the added bonus of being able to track client engagement. You can track how often your viewers engage with your card, the time of day, and which links caught their attention. These analytics are extremely powerful to better understanding your customers. For instance, let's discuss re-advertising. Let's say you're at a nutritional convention on Monday and your potential client saves your digital business card, but does not view you on Facebook until the following Wednesday afternoon. If this client never purchases from you, a digital business card will recommend that you retarget them with a Facebook ad the following Wednesday afternoon and attempt to generate a sale. Digital business cards are also eco-friendly and will only become more popular as remote work continues to grow. For my personal business cards, I use Noe. Although there are multiple digital business card builders, Noe is the only one that I found that allows you to build your business card entirely on your computer opposed to an app. Noe also has numerous free templates, free design, and a very friendly user interface. In this video, we're gonna make a digital business card for a very good friend of mine, Sarah Grand. Sarah Grant is a digital media expert and we're gonna create a business card for her using Noe in only minutes. Simply navigate to the Noe website. Next, create your card for free and enter your information. Noe is going to ask for your name, company, logo, business type, and any available social media or physical addresses to seamlessly create a, a beautiful card for you to choose from. Once your information is complete, step two is to choose a style for your card. Currently, there are 37 available styles on Noe. I traditionally like to stick with the modern options as they are easier to read and make your card look a little bit more professional. Lastly, simply save your design and your card is now ready to share. You can share your card using its UR link here. Noe automatically generates you a free QR code to use. Overall, digital business cards are a quick and easy solution to grow your brand and enhance your online presence. Our second tool we're going to discuss is my absolute favorite. When I first came across this, I was surprised why everyone wasn't using this. It's big with influencers, content creators, but honestly, every single business needs to be using Linktree. Linktree's unique feature is it joins all your social media platforms in one location. Linktree uses a very simple template to help your clients view anything and everything you have to offer. We're going to make a Linktree profile simply to show you how easy yet powerful this solution is. First, navigate to Linktree.com and sign up for free. Linktree is going to ask you for your business type to provide you with layouts suited for your industry. Linktree does offer a free version and multiple paid versions. The paid versions remove ads and allow you to collect more data history, but the value of Linktree is that it's a navigation tool. For this reason, I'm personally always going to be using the free version of Linktree. Next, become familiar with the user interface. On the right, you'll see a phone screen. As you update your links and images, the phone will update accordingly. 
Here, you can choose which social medias you'd like to add. The extraordinary benefit of Linktree is you can use these links here to engage your viewers further along the process of your card. As you can see, Linktree does offer some built-in icons, but they are pretty bland and all in black and white. I found it much more professional to simply upload your own icons, as you can tailor them to your brand and match them to your color schemes. As you can see, most of the additional features on Linktree are free too. This one here allows you to attach your most recent tweet from Twitter and have it display on your profile. Not everything you add needs to be a social media. Here I'm going to add a URL directly to my merchandise page, where small business owners can purchase high quality, fashionable apparel at a reasonable price. Once all your links are added, you can select these six dots here to change the order of your buttons. You are almost done. Now make your Linktree profile go from this to this. Navigate to the Appearance tab at the top of your screen. Here you will have the option to add a profile photo, update your display name, and include a short message. Next, choose a theme that you like. As you can see, there are multiple free pre-made themes for you to choose from. Personally, I like to choose to customize your own theme as you can match it to your brand, your color schemes, and what you'd like to display. Let's choose a gradient to fade our colors. Then let's scroll down and find a color similar to a purple since most of our content is bright and vibrant. Next, we're gonna be choosing the format of your buttons. If you'd like your buttons to look more user friendly, I recommend choosing one with the shadow options as they pop off the screen and provide more depth to your profile. Bonus tip, if the icons you uploaded earlier are not the same shape, choosing a rounded button will also round your icons. This creates a very consistent and professional looking profile. Lastly, you can update your font and your font color. If you chose a multicolor background, choosing a modern font and a black or white text will make your text much easier to read. And your link tree is done. Let's test it out. Here is the URL to your link tree profile. Now your viewers can easily navigate to all the links you provided, your website, your YouTube channel. And since earlier we clicked the recommend subscribe button, it's presented each time someone clicks that YouTube link. Now let's talk about the analytics Linktree provides. Back on the analytics tab, you can view how many viewers navigated to your website, when they navigated to your website, where from, and which buttons they clicked on. This is incredibly valuable insight to better understanding your client base. I highly, highly recommend taking a deep dive into these analytics. If you have no experience in data analytics or you're an absolute expert, I highly recommend you check out our Power BI tutorial playlist on this channel. I've been using Power BI for nearly six years now and I can honestly say there is not a better free data analytics platform on the market. Picture Excel and then it took one of those power up mushrooms from Mario and it made Power BI. It's incredibly easy, it's incredibly powerful, and it would differentiate you today in your business. And that startup squad is two digital business cards that you need to start using today. If you found value out of today's video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything small business, tech, or data analytics. It means a lot to me that we're building something here together and I'm very excited to see you in the next video. Good luck on your link trees, good luck on your knowing and of course, start small, start today. I'll see you soon.